Hey folks, Randy here with Doing Cut and Trim. So I wanted to show you how I uh, uh, am able to quote things in Service Autopilot and really systemize things as much as possible. I'll show you how I've done this for uh, lawn care, um, but I'm actually going to show you how to do it um, by uh, uh, <clears throat> by building one in uh, Service Autopilot uh, for mulch installations. So the way it works is you go to the settings in uh, Service Autopilot and uh, go to services you can find it quick by just typing it in and then we're gonna go down to mulching mulching where is it mulch delivery and installation okay um, so that brings up the uh, screen for customizing everything uh, you know the invoice says blah blah, blah. Um, and we're gonna go to a thing called the rate matrix so you click on that, and the first thing that you're going to want to do, for me, um, is to change it from this calculation to just quantity times rate times visits. All right? And uh, we're not going to really worry about the, what the custom field is right now. Um, and so the way I do uh, mulch, the way I price mulching, is I do it by quoting per 100 square feet. So... You know, if it's a if it's 100 square feet or less, 65 bucks. 200 square feet, you know, 200 bucks, you know, etc. So the way you set this up is if it's from zero to 100 square feet, the rate is 65 dollars. And I honestly, I could fill in budgeted hours. I don't know. We'll say that should take me 30 minutes. So. 0.5 budgeted hours and not on a budget cost and so then we can either go and say every 100 feet over blah 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 we, we could fill that in but the way I like to do it is add matrix item and that's going to add another one and we can say from 101 to 200 the rate is 130 but this actually, for mulching, this could get a little crazy. So we're not going to do it this way. So we're going to delete that. And so what we're going to say is, let's see. I've never actually done it this way. Um, so uh, let's see, how does this work? Every, let's, we're going to have to fiddle with this. Every 100 square feet over 100 is $65 more and we won't worry about the other two items so we'll hit save now we're gonna figure out if we did this correctly so I'm gonna go over to my test account and we're gonna add an estimate right, we'll select the estimate document just do a generic add item and pull up the mulch delivery and installation. All right, so now by default, it's 65 bucks. And even at a rate of 99, it should say it's 65 bucks. So you put in the square footage in this calc box. So at 100, it's 65, but at 101, it should jump up to 130. And you see that it did. So even at 199, it should stay 130. And I think even at 200, it'll stay 130. But if we get to 201 square feet, bumps it up to 195. So now, when I go out to quote mulch, it's, it's a very simple process. Uh, I could have anyone with a measuring wheel do this. They just go out, find the square footage of the mulch, and it's, you know, if the mulch bed is six feet deep and... 30 feet wide, that's 180 square feet. They can just type this into the calc field and they know it's $130. Um, excuse me. And so that is a very basic way to create a rate matrix. Now, I'll, using the same uh, estimate, I'll show you, you know, we did the same thing for uh, lawn mowing. Um, so for us, we actually have our lawn mowing separated out into different services so you know I, I mean you can see it here first week you know as requested monthly blah blah uh, let's just 
go to weekly, hit apply. And the default is $35 per cut. That's our service minimum. But you can type in any square footage up to an acre, so up to 40,000 square feet, and you'll get your price. So for weekly lawn maintenance, if your property is 28,000 square feet, your price with us is going to be $60 per cut. Uh, knock it down to 6,000 square feet, that's going to be $35. Bucks. Um, you know. I don't know, 13,000, that's gonna be 40. So this makes it very simple for the office staff. All they gotta do is type it in. And then uh, I'm still working on this part, but uh, <clears throat> if the, uh, we, we get a little bit more in depth. So like if like we have what we call add-ons for quoting them. So, and we have that under the products cause we don't really, carry products we don't you know so for the time being this is how we do it so we click on add sub item and then select product and if it's like a corner lot there's more trimming involved more edging involved in a corner lot typically so we'll click corner lot hit apply and that's going to add five dollars onto their uh, service but this won't show up on their estimate this is just on for us to see so like if we were to hit save or you know quote <coughs> and then save it we could then preview the estimate it'll come up in a moment as you can see lawn maintenance is showing up at forty five dollars per cut um, even though you know even though we have the add-ons you don't see the customer doesn't see the add-on only we do um, so I mean yeah, that's that's how that works and just for the heck of it, I'll show you what my uh, lawn maintenance uh, uh, rate matrix looks like. It's It's got a lot going on. Um, <clears throat> and actually, playing it around some more, I think I actually could have made that a lot easier, but, you know, whatever. So I'll just show you the bi-weekly. And uh, so if we go to the rate matrix for bi-weekly, you can see this is what it looks like. And so, you know, you do all this work in the in the beginning and, you know, we quote lawns over the phone. So, you know, we're able to spit out a price very easy and uh, there's not not a whole heck of a lot of effort involved. Um, but, uh, yeah, I don't know. This was a feature I've been using service autopilot for three years now. Yeah, yeah three years and uh, just discovered this feature like a week ago and uh, thought it was really cool figured i would show you uh so yeah so but i hope this is helpful to you um this is a pretty cool feature in service autopilot that i was not using um and i'm really excited to really dive into it as the year goes on uh so this is randy with dual and cut and trim have a good one